Hello students, welcome to Axiomatic Oz. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM Mathematics 2017. So we are going to solve this problem 4 of the paper. So let us have a look on this question. What it says? It says that you have to calculate this given limit, right? You have to calculate this given limit where, okay, so this, this limit looks like this, okay? So this is basically a question from the topic, you can say Riemann integration. If you haven't studied it, uh, then there is nothing to worry also because I'm going to show you a result and that result will be very helpful for you to solve such kind of questions, okay? So what is that result? I will show you directly. Uh, Okay, suppose you have this kind of limit, okay, uh, which with this limit is in the form of the summation and here R is varying, okay, R is varying from 1 to N and 1 by N over, uh, 1 by N is also here, okay. If you have this kind of limit, then what happens actually, this 1 by N is replaced by DX, okay, this is the definition of the, you can say, integral, okay. So what we do in such kind of cases, we replace 1 by n, okay, I will write replace 1 by n with dx, okay, and r over n with x, then, okay, so this whole limit will convert to integral, so what is that integral, integral will be uh, f of x dx 0 to 1. So this is the result that I was talking initially. You have to remember this limit and uh, always remember that r by n is replaced with x and 1 by n is replaced with dx. Okay, I'm not going to explain it how it comes but it is actually the partial sums you can say. So by the definition of the Riemann integration, you can write this formula, okay? As if, uh, as now for you, you have to just remember this, uh, this theorem or you can say this formula and after that you can solve this question. So, what you have in your hand is a limit. Limit n goes to infinity <coughs> pi over n summation. So, in, in this case, r is replaced with n, okay? We had uh, k over n sine pi by 2 plus pi pi by 2 dot k over n. So this is your limit, right? So finally, this 1 over n, okay, I can take pi outside of it. This pi I will take outside, okay. So 1 over n will be there. So after that, what you can say using this result that this thing will be equal to 0 to 1 sine of pi by 2 plus 5 pi by 2 x. You are getting my point or not? So, okay. So, everything is fine now. You are getting my point? Here, I have replaced k over n with x and 1 over n with dx. So, finally, I got this. So, I need to just integrate this. Okay. So, the limit so, the value of the limit will be equal to integral of 0 to 1 uh, sine pi by 2 plus 5 pi by 2x dx. Okay. Now, this is very easy to integrate, right? Uh, you don't need to do anything else. You can also, um, what you can do, you can use an identity. So, what is that identity? Sine pi by 2 plus x. Okay, so what is sine pi by 2 plus x? It is cos x, right? You know already that. You can use it just to make uh, this integral a little bit simple, but also uh, without using this, you can uh, integrate, okay? I'm just writing uh, this to in order to make this thing simple. So what you will get? You will get 5 pi by 2 x dx, right? Now you know the integration of uh, cos x and uh, Using that integration, what you will get that your answer is 2 over 5, right? 
so after calculating this integral you will end up with this okay this is very easy i'm not going to calculate it so from here what you are getting that 2 by 5 is your answer right so uh, i will use a black pen for this now so 2 by 5 you are getting right so this a option is incorrect b is correct or oh, sorry incorrect and c is correct and d is incorrect so this is a very easy question totally dependent on the result that i have shown you okay so using this result you can always solve such kind of limit questions okay so thank you